Hello everyone and welcome back to Battle Cats. Today guys, I got something extra special. I received a package in the mail from Japan. This was sent to me by the creators of Battle Cats, Ponos. Uh, they sent me an email a while ago and they're like, hey man, I wanna send you some things. What's your address? So they, uh, they got my address and here it is. We're gonna open it up now. Okay, so this is pretty cool. First of all guys, we have a, um, a Battle Cats plushie. Can't go wrong with one of those now, can ya? This is the Cat Cat. I mean, it's just called Cat, but isn't that kind of confusing if you just call it Cat because of all the other cats being cats as well? So I'm calling it Cat Cat. I have a Cat Cat plushie. Actually, it's um, it's like a, hold on a second. Is it, is it like a purse? Do I got myself a purse here? <laughs> you know, it would help if this shit wasn't in Japanese, guys, but uh, you know, what can you do? Can you read it for me? You can, probably can't even see it. Whatever, it's fine. There is a, there's a little, Hold on. This is exactly what I would expect from Japan. A cat that holds your uh, holds your wallet and also if you open it up, there's like a, I guess like a coin purse inside. You know, <laughs> I should probably walk around with this, you know? And, and it's uh, it's got a carabiner on it and then when you pull it, it can, you can't go really long so you can get your stuff. So you could just have it clipped on to the side and then you whip this out and all the ladies are gonna flock to me, guys. It is gonna be amazing, okay? Uh, don't tell my wife I said that. Also in the box, we have even better than the other one, guys. We have a tank cat, wall cat, whatever cat. Look at it, it's so big. I am going to sleep with this every single night. It's like a pillow, guys, cause it's, uh, I mean, look at it, it's so big, seriously. Um, this probably also is all in Japanese, but, oh, there's a code in here. <laughs> What could it mean guys? I mean, maybe the other thing had a code in it as well Maybe I should enter this code on the the, the, the redeem things in Battle Cats screen da, 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 da. <laughs> Okay, this one this one uh, just tells you to download the game. I think pretty sure what that that's what that is Okay, but I like it. Okay. This is probably what I should be looking for guys. It's a little letter It says Matt. Thanks for playing our game. We all look forward to your future Battle Cat adventures Drop by for a visit if you ever make it to Kyoto. Cheers from Ponos. Thank you guys very much. Isn't it nice when 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 the creator of a game that you play recognizes you, especially since like Battle Cats is one of my most successful series. We're at like episode 20 something and people still love it, which is usually not the case in my videos. Usually people give up on it pretty quick. So thanks guys. Thanks for sticking around and watching. And thanks Ponos for sending me stuff. We're not done. There are more things in the box. Just. Hold on, what could this be? It is some sort of, oh wait, it says colorful Ramoon on it. Okay, I'm gonna eat it. So it kind of smells and kind of feels like the Love Hearts candies. Like there's two different kinds of Love Hearts. Um, and uh, I'm talking about the ones that are like circular, you know, and they have like a heart drawn on them. Let me see what they taste like. Okay, it's about what they taste like too. I'm not a huge fan of those, but these are better than Love Hearts for sure. In fact, I want to eat more. Hmm. But that's not all. We also have um, chocolate thingamabobs. They look like truffles. What do they taste like? That's what I want to know. They're very hard. No, they're not very hard. Hmm. Oh yeah. Basically like a truffle. It tastes awesome. But that's not all. We also have Crunky. <laughs> I like that, guys. Apparently there is um, some sort of chocolate candy thingamabob in Japan called Crunky. I, I think Lil John will be proud. Looks like chocolate, and I swear to God, it smells like a fruit roll-up. Oh my God. No, no, fruit by the foot. That's what I meant. It tastes like, um, what is that? It's like a cereal. It's totally lost on me, guys. I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is I'm tasting right now. You know, I wanna explain what the taste is. There's some sort of cereal, and it's all colorful and shit, and, and, uh, Hmm. I'm not sure if this is what I'm thinking of guys, but it kind of tastes like the um, you know the the wafer like with cream in them That you can get like wafer bars with cream in them. It kind of tastes like that I'm not really sure I can't quite put my finger on what it is that it tastes like but it's pretty good All this stuff is pretty good, especially the giant tank cat. I love it Okay, I just wanted to take a look and see guys But yeah, this is uh, this is tank cat and this aka this 
is wall cat. I thought, I thought it was. All right guys, so I wanted to put in the code that I got with my wall cat, but I can't find the website to do it right now. It's not working. I don't know why. No big deal, okay? I'll do it later. Today, guys, we got some important stuff we gotta do, all right? I've been teasing about this for weeks. Well, I mean, I've been trying to get it done for weeks. I'm not really trying to tease you guys. I'm just trying to, you know, actually get the stuff that I need. But today, I got the final yellow cat fruit seed, which means we can finally upgrade the, uh, the solar cat. The solar cat's about to get better, and I'm thinking it might be fun today to do a few of the alien levels. Now that I've got an even better solar cat. Look at this. Evolve. Yeah. Okay, I can't do it because I need more XP. That's uh, that that that's really lame. So if I have two hundred thousand XP, I guess I can do it because I'm I'm already at level um, I'm already at level thirty one, right? Twenty eight plus three. That counts when it comes to evolving things. So I got level thirty and I got the cat fruit I need. I just need some more experience points. So let me put together my uh, my alien crew and we'll go to uh, we'll go back to Into the Future Chapter Two. I haven't done anything there in a while. It might be a good time to go back. I don't even remember what I was doing last time I was at Into the Future, guys, so, uh, let's see. South Africa, good. It's not some crazy place that I, um, that I have to get past. Like, like, I got stuck eventually on the moon, and I got stuck at, uh, the Great Abyss at one point, so I think we could handle South Africa. I've made a lot of progress. I've leveled up some things. I've got better cats, yada, yada, yada. I can actually get my Ubers to level 30 right now, which is cool. I haven't done that yet, though. All right, well, so far, so good. I've just got my alien uh, alien herders out there. This guy's gonna blow, even though they're red dudes and not aliens. That's okay, that's okay. The aliens will come back, guys, don't worry. Let's get um, Aphrodite. Oh, here comes the bear, of course. Stay out of my life, bear. I don't think all these guys are gonna get killed. I was really hoping that maybe Castaway Cat would have done something besides get killed immediately, but it's okay. I just purchased another one. I'm thinking maybe one more hit should kill the bear. Come on, one more hit, do it. Oh, you guys actually managed to stop an alien. Nice job, boom. Okay, that killed anything. Oh, oh, really? You're still alive? Seriously, dude, just die. Bah Bahama cat, we got it. Mm, no, still not dead. I cannot believe it. This guy just will not die. Wow, that's okay, that's, told you it was okay. Now I got all kinds of money, and the, the hardest unit is now gone, so let's just go ahead and finish this off. Where, where are your aliens now? Where are your powerful aliens? All you got is a little squid doggo. Squid doggo, you can't do anything, bro. I think it's kind of funny, guys, that all the units in the game actually have names. Like, there's a glossary where you can look at them all, but I just call them whatever, you know? Okay, I just got a Swatsy candle. Good. And 35,000 experience points. Wow. Okay, that means we only have 70,000 to go! Oh, ho. got any good time scores, bro? No, you don't? Does this one have good time scores? It doesn't. Okay, that's okay. It's only 60, it's only 60 energy, guys. I'm used to doing, like, really high energy uh, levels, you know, from the, from the events. You know, guys, I really don't appreciate the fact that all these Into the Future levels now Instead of having, uh, you know, aliens all the time, they start having, like, black guys and stuff. That's not cool because they're really hard to kill. <laughs> Things sound so bad when I say them, man. Okay, so this time we have a black kangaroo. Not cool, but at least Jamira can knock him back. I think that's actually really- <laughs> he's gone. He died. Nice job, Jamira. Is there another Jamira coming? There is. He's way on back there, but he's- he's coming. He'll be here eventually. It's- it's- it's gonna be okay. Aphrodite, stay away. I got a normal mate. I've always wanted a normal mate. <laughs> okay. 36,000, that means if I get another 36,000, I will have enough to finally level up Solar Cat. The great thing about leveling up Solar Cat, guys, is he increases his range. And that's kind of the problem right now, is that he comes up, he, he comes up to the, to the enemies and he tries to blow them, and then he dies because he's just way too close. You need to do long range blowing, okay? Trust me. One more time, here we go, Easter Island. It's gonna be a great time. We're gonna go on an Easter egg hunt. Oh shit, what was that? Oh, okay, it's just you. Are you difficult? You're just white, man. You're a fucking white male! You're a fucking white male! So just FYI, guys, now that I'm thinking about it, you know how I was trying to do Evil Cat Awakens and then I said I was gonna, you know, try again later and whatnot? I'm probably not gonna be able to beat it. I won't be trying it today, all right? I might I might give it a try early next week before the, before the time runs out. I don't know. It's still a very scary level and I haven't really leveled up that much. I've been focusing on getting those cat cat fruit every day, you know? That's what's really important. Oh shit, 
Okay, we killed that guy. That's good. Why are you guys red? I don't have any anti-floating right now. Should get some anti-floating. If I lose this level, I'll uh, I'll get the delinquent going, okay? And he'll be able to stop these guys a little bit. Because look at him. Stop biting me, bro. Don't bite me, bro. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Never mind. It's good. I thought I was going to make her miss, but she still hit, I think. I know what we need. We need a Matarazu. It's nice to have Aphrodite. Okay. Dead. That's good. It's nice to have Aphrodite, guys, but um, if they push too far, obviously it's a bit of a problem because then she can't hit him anymore. So you need at least one, like, short range. I need to get a Matarazu up to a better level. She's only level 14, and I can have her all the way up to 30 if I wanted. I'm sure she'd be a lot better if she was that high. It's funny because this guy is not even a hard enemy. Like, he didn't do anything. He moves really slow, and he doesn't do that much damage. He took out a few of my meat shields. Oh, no, not the meat shields. Anything but the meat shields. And now it's all over. Okay, so as long as I get 36,000 experience or more, I'll be good. Let's finish this up. Is bam, ba bam, yeah, 37. See, I'm pretty sure it goes up a little bit each time, so yeah. Good, good stuff. Let's go level up the solar cat. He's not gonna be a solar cat anymore. What was he at first? He was um uh a wheel cat. Okay, wheel cat's weird. I mean, look at that facial hair. What the hell, dude? But I did appreciate the fact that he had fire and whatnot. Solar Cat's cool because he has, like, planets and whatnot. And now, we are going to get Chill Cat. True form evolution increases range and attack. Also gains a shortened recovery time after deployment, which means that you can make more of them now. I'm assuming it's the same price, right? Price doesn't change depending on if you level them up or not, which is cool. So same price. You can put out more of them. They have better range and they have better attack. That is amazing. And I guess that makes sense considering you have to do all this stuff. Takes two green cat fruit seeds, one purple cat fruit seed, three red cat fruit seeds, two yellow cat fruit seeds, and two blue cat fruits. Now, I got a problem here, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna point this out. That's pink, okay? That is not a purple cat fruit seed, that is a pink cat fruit seed. And right now, the yellow cat fruit seed looks kind of orange. I mean, maybe in Japan these colors are different. I don't really know. <laughs> Evolve it! Here we go! Oh, if we combine all the cat fruit seeds together, we get a chill cat. This guy is super chill, guys. He's, he's like, whatever, dude. We can do whatever you want. Okay. We got to try this guy out now. Can we can we level him up? Is it, can you? Can, oh, yeah, of course. He can get to level 30 because he's only at level 28 right now. But that takes another 200,000. I ain't got that kind of shit. Let's go. Um, I'm, I'm a, I have a feeling there's going to be more floating. I mean, I could be wrong here. Let's switch something out. We are gonna replace, um, I really like Valkyrie Cat, but I think maybe we'll use Delinquent instead. Okay, because I mean, she's not powerful against anything really. I mean, she's powerful against everything. She's got great range and whatnot, but no, we've got a good range now. We've got th this guy over here, okay? Chill Cat, it's time for Chill Cat to do his thing. All right, and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be really cool. All right, so. We've got some alligators. Cool stuff. Let's put out these guys and this guy. Oh, he's so big. Look at that. Okay, hang out in the back and blow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. I think this guy is going to be, like, actually useful now. I think he's going to... Look at this. If you kill this guy in one hit, I swear to God. Okay, he did it. And he, he, he didn't do it. Maybe in two hits? Eh? Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Whatever. Forget it. Just, I'm going to get more, okay? Look at that. He comes back really quick. I'm just gonna send out an army of snowflakes, okay? No, not the army of snowflakes. Anything but that. <laughs> Doesn't sound very scary, does it? But it is. Oh shit, look, this guy is floating, guys. That's a good thing, because I'm gonna send out my delinquent now, and uh, and he's gonna take care of that. And also, I'm gonna send out the guy who stops um, aliens as well, which is Castaway Cat. So now I have two different people who can stop the um, Stop the the big moth, you know? Oh crap, he took them out. Don't do that. Can you not? Can you can you never do that again, please? Well, at least we got that going on. We just killed like everybody. Holy shit. Okay, there you go. There you go. And there you go. And there you go. And and everything. Oh wait, wait, let's push you guys back for a second. Yep, thank you. Okay. Okay. It's going pretty good. I don't think we're gonna lose. We just need more snowflakes. They keep dying. <laughs> He's still, he's still dying so much. I think this guy has a lot of range, so, I mean, I can't blame him. 6,000. Nice. I got to speed up from that. Okay, and I got a treasure. Man, I'm getting so many treasures. Is there some kind of treasure thing on right now? Is that a thing? I don't think it is. Is it not? There's no treasure thing. I just keep getting them. I'm a lucky guy. Look at that. 
uh, superior, superior, and um, uh, normal, I think, and then and then and then the the inferior. So I got a treasure on each of these levels. I mean, look at all these levels I don't have a treasure on. I went one, two, three, four, five, six, six levels without getting a treasure. And just then, I got four with treasures and good ones too. I got a lot of good treasures. Okay, let's go to Colombia. Let's kill some more things with our solar cat, who's now a chill cat. All right, here's a fun game we can all play, guys. Go to the comments and comment your favorite cat. I'm just curious what people like. I, I gotta come up with my favorite now. Hmm. Honestly, I think my favorite right now is Aphrodite. Just because of the fact that she can hang out in the back and shoot things in the air and they come down and they kill things, like, a lot. Okay? And she's helped me so much with aliens. And not even just aliens, like, everything. Like, I, I wouldn't have beat, um... I wouldn't have beat Into the Future Chapter 1 if it wasn't for Aphrodite. So, gotta respect it. Oh! Oh, guys! I have another cat that's probably one of my favorites. Okay, so I gotta show you after this. Uh, it, it's really important. I'm not even impressed at the chill cat guys. I spent so much time getting them, and his range is still pretty freaking bad. <laughs> he just keeps dying. Stop dying, bro. Stop dying. You just need to go up against the right enemies, okay? You need to go up against enemies that don't have good range, so you can just hang out behind the meat shields. All right, we finally killed the metal hippo, guys. I really don't like that metal hippo. I don't like metal things in general, but is there anything besides a hippo? I don't know if I've seen any other metal metal uh, enemies yet. But anyway, he sucks. That's all I'm saying. Oh, really? No, not the otter. Anything but the otter. I hate the black otter. What does he even have? What is that? Is that a red rock? Why do you got a red rock, bro? What, is, what are you doing with that thing? Put that away. You're going to poke your eye out. Yes, that's right. You're going to poke your eye out with the rock. Okay, I said it. Get over it. Oh, okay. And he's dead. Wow. <laughs> I thought that was going to go worse. Who's alive? I think everybody's alive. We got Aphrodite here. We got a Matarazu, and, um, yeah, Bahamut's on his way. I don't know if he's gonna get there before it's taken care of, though. Nice try, anyway, Bahamut. I appreciate you coming out, you know, to show your support. You get a participation medal. Hooray! <laughs> All right, so that was good. Good stuff. I mean, my score wasn't great, but look at that. I got an inferior bag of emeralds. I don't think there's anything, even such a thing as an inferior bag of emeralds. If I had a bag of emeralds, I would not be thinking about the fact that it's inferior. It's just a bag of emeralds, dude. I'd be rich, right? Are they, are they worth a lot of money? Whatever. All right, so now I gotta show you guys the world's greatest cat, possibly. Okay, I, I, I don't really wanna pick favorites. I really like Jamira. Okay, that's one of my favorites right there. And I really like Aphrodite. And uh, I really like this cat coming up right now. So you remember little old tricycle cat, right? Riding around with three wheels doing his thing. Uh, well, yeah, you know that he levels up into a biker. You know, he moves out of his parents' basement or whatever and starts to do stuff with his life and rides bikes and that's cool. But then guys, I found the, um, I guess it's Tricycle Cat Awakens. I did that stage and I got the new form of Biker Cat. Started on a tricycle, went to a bicycle. You know what's coming next, guys. The Unicycle Cat. How amazing is that? I, I, I seem to remember a Matt Shea video that involved the unicycle. You know what? I could be mistaken. All right, I think we need to have an army of unicycles. Look at how many cats I have now that are on their final form. I've got uh, I've got Macho Likes Cat over here. I've got Chill Cat. I've got Unicycle Cat. I've got Jamira Cat. Uh, I could also put Lolly Lollipop Cat in there or Lolly Cat, cat or whatever it's called. That one is also up to the uh, to the last level right there. Look at that, max tw max level twenty, but it's got the it's got the cool background, which is awesome. I'm not sure if there are more. There might be more cats that have gotten to the final form, but anyway, guys, it's not important. I don't know. This is probably gonna like you know reduce my chances of beating this level, but I need to do one level where I send out a bunch of unicycles because they're freaking unicycles, guys. The coolest thing you can ride. I mean, look at this, guys. It's a freaking unicycle. He started off with three wheels. I mean, it's pretty easy to ride a three-wheeled vehicle. Uh, I guess you could call it a vehicle. A three-wheeled thing? Oh god, what's happening? You guys are not doing good things, are you? That's okay. Unicycle cat's kicking ass. No, no, he's not. He's dead. Okay. Uh, you want to try? We're gonna try. Aphrodite, get out here. We're trying. Don't worry, guys. I'm still sending out unicycle cats, but they're gonna be kind of meat shields, I suppose. I think the next one just died, and here we go. Boom. Y you tried. I like how the spikes come out the same way that the biker has the spikes come out. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, cut, cut, it, cut it out. Get it. Get out of here. You. What do you What do you think you're doing? <laughs> oh, you're trying to You're trying to kill me. Stop it, you! To be honest, guys, I don't even know how much damage a unicycle does. I presume it doesn't do that much damage, but... 
We beat the level. <laughs> we did pretty good. We got a 6,000 score. That's cool. And I got another treasure. All right. So that is today's episode, this week's episode of Battle Cats, guys. As I said, leave your uh, favorite cat in the comments down below, okay? Thank you to Ponos for sending me uh, a bunch of stuff. That was really cool. Once again, check this guy out. That's pretty sweet, am I right? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.